welcome back to another episode of the naughty escape today we're going to do our 300 hour service on our twin yamaha 200s and we're probably going to end up saving a couple thousand dollars doing this so if you guys are ready let's go so if you don't know what parts you need to service your motors don't worry about it you and i were in the exact same boat makes it easy go to partsvu.com and a matter of fact i'll put a little link up on top and then i'll put a link in the description below as well too so everything that we have here you can just click on it and go straight there all you have to do is put in your make these are going to be yamas 200s and then you tell them hey 100 hour 200 hour 300 it's just little drop down boxes and it will absolutely put everything together for you and ship it out to you now we're doing our 300 which is one of our bigger service moments uh we're gonna have to do the lower unit matter of fact here's what it comes with right now it comes with a new water pump repair kit oil filter fuel filter spark plugs new thermostat your engine oil and your lower unit oil there's a couple things that it did not come with it did not come with a water uh fuel water separator pump i still gotta order one of those and it did not come with the pump to actually do my lower unit uh, right down here, which is not a big deal. You can go to a couple of parts stores or you can just order it off the same website I think it's like $25, but I think I spent uh, About $600 total and I called a couple other shops to see if I can just have them do it close to $3,000 I went from $2,300 to up to $3,000 that they were going to charge me to service these motors and uh yeah, I, I just wasn't going to pay that much money. Now, granted, if it's under warranty and you're not that mechanically inclined, which don't get me wrong, I'm not either, um, then yeah, it might be more beneficial to just go ahead and pay the money because if something messes up, hey, you got somebody that can you know be held accountable versus yourself. I'm the kind of guy where I'd like to screw it up myself, and if anyone's going to mess up this boat, it's going to be me. But let's get to it. So a couple things that I would absolutely recommend getting uh, before you do anything yourself are right here. Some Yama Lube right here. This is a corrosion inhibitor. I'd absolutely recommend spraying anything metal, your bolts down, especially, especially if you're gonna be in the salt water because that will just ruin absolutely everything. PB Blaster because, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've already done one motor. It took me most of the day yesterday. I think I can get the second one done in about two hours now that I know that I'm one doing. Um, but yeah, nothing ever goes easy. And then of course, some anti-seize lubricant. This, just take a little bit extra time, and we'll do it as step by step as we go through, and just put a little bit on each bolt as you put it up, and I promise you, things will go 10 times more smoothly next time that you have to service your motors. And of course, some dielectric grease. And this is gonna be for the tips of your uh, spark plugs. So this way you make sure that you get that connection. But, enough of that, let's get to it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is run that motor for a few minutes, get that oil warmed up so this way it's a little bit looser and not so thick. Let that water go through a few minutes, warm it up, and then we'll get ready to start changing out the oil. So you ran the motor, it's warmed up right now, you got the water done, I already turned it back off. Now it's time to actually change your oil and we gotta get this top cowling off. This is probably one of the easiest things. You have one, two and since i'm filming i'm probably not going to be able to get to it by myself uh but there is another plastic piece there you go hopefully you saw that and then this piece just slips right off so let me go ahead and get this off right now so in order to get your oil drain plug you're gonna have to take these two starboard side or right side uh cowlings off and it just holds by a few bolts. Allen wrenches right here. There's one right here. Two. And then right in the back. Three. And four. Five. Six. Take those out. I believe it's a five Allen wrench that ends up taking these out. But let me show you on this one since I've already got the top off. Right down here. We're looking at it. Go straight down. This screw right here, that's what catches a lot of people. Make sure you unscrew that as well too. And then this whole thing will pop right off. So you got your side cowling off. Now you're gonna wanna get your oil drain plug. This is gonna use a 14 millimeter socket. 
here's the side go right up and the best way to tell is there's a little black rubber flap that's gonna be your drain plug yeah I'm using a mop bucket don't judge me all right I might have cheated I loosened it up a little bit before I started filming I'd say let that thing go for at least a good 30 minutes and while that's doing it we're gonna go ahead and change out the spark plugs so while that oil ends up draining we're gonna change out the spark plugs um, again I kind of cheated just because I want to go through the video as fast as I can I've already checked the gaps on these 99% um, of the time they're already at the right gap um, you can buy this little round it looks like almost a quarter and it'll judge the gaps it's like 25 cents of auto zone but i have never had one knock on wood where it hasn't been already pre-gapped to where it should be and it even says that they do come pre-gapped as far as the distance on your spark plugs but now back to it so you're looking straight here directly here is a plastic piece I'm trying to make sure you can get every possible view of it no screws, nothing, just pull. Oh, it actually just attaches to these little rubber grommets down below. But let me put that up here. And these, since this is a four cylinder motor, one, two, three, four, um, these are gonna be your spark plugs. So we're gonna take a 10 millimeter wrench Loosen one by one, and we're gonna replace them one by one as well, too. Um, let me get everything set up, because again, I'm filming with one hand. Socket, Got the extension, spark plug socket. And, let me actually take this off. The rest of it, you can do by hand. Actually, not bad looking at all. All right, and we'll replace it. I had to put the camera up so I can use two hands. All right, here's a new spark plug that we're gonna put in, and I'm not gonna film all four of them. You get the idea once you do the one. Take the tip of this and use some of this dielectric grease right here. And all you gotta do is just put a very small bit on there. Matter of fact, maybe not even that much. You just put it on the tip and then install it. Put that little long, plastic hose right back over it and this way you ensure that it has that connection on there because you don't want it to not connect when you're out 20 30 40 miles out and you're misfiring so I'd recommend just doing this like I said it's only a couple bucks at AutoZone but let's put this back on all right before we put this screw in at the beginning I said take a little extra work get some anti-seize or non-seize lubricant and through each bolt you don't have to put much on there. You ain't gonna hurt anything. Just put a little bit around the threads. And this way, uh, well, you don't really have too many issues on the spark plug ones, but it's better just to have uh, muscle memory and do it for every single bolt. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, hopefully you saw that. Probably not. Put that back in. And always start by hand threading it before you use any kind of tool so you don't cross thread anything. And that's pretty much it as far as the spark plugs go. So this is the first one. Let me go through all three of these. I'll start filming again, but um, yeah, it's so far this has all been extremely easy up until this point. So once I do all three of these, I'll go ahead and put the oil cap on. You can still see it's dripping a little bit. And then we will fill up the oil on top. All right, now that we've got the spark plugs done, looks like the oil's done draining. I'm gonna go ahead 
cap that back off. Take this oil filter off. It actually shouldn't be too hard. You might be able to. Nope. Not quite by hand, but got a tool right here. And since it's been in the down position, the motor's been warm. It's been, I don't know, maybe an hour that I've been letting the oil drain out. Shouldn't really have too much of a mess taking this out. much oil there at all. I'm just going to take the new one here. Uh, well, again, film this one hand. Let me go ahead and shut this off so I can take the wrapper off. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and just kind of wipe, just clean up the area right there. And we'll be back. Yeah, I got the wrapper off on this new one. Cleaned it up a little bit on that side and make sure there was no debris. But what I'm going to do is go to this old oil right here. Since I got a glove, dip my finger in there and put it right around this little rubber o ring. So this way it gets a nice seal on it. And then you just turn it by hand. You don't have to strain yourself. Hand tighten is all you need for this. Now we're going to go up and change out the oil. Alright, so we're on top of the boat right now. And this is where you put your oil in. And it's the only yellow cap on top. And it actually has a picture of an oil on here. i just lay that right over there. Get my funnel out. And I do believe this takes 4.8 quarts. So it comes with four quarts right here, or a gallon. So four quarts is a gallon. And just start dipping it little by little. And then it'll come with one more end packet. And you would pretty much want to go probably to that second line, where it says somewhere around there. Either way, put it in there. Um, cap it, start the motor, let it run a little bit, make sure you got the water running just like we did at the very beginning. And then go ahead and check the dipstick, which let me show you right here, is if you're looking, this yellow piece right here is gonna be the dipstick. And just make sure it's at the right level. So you may have to add a little bit extra, um, but it's better to go a little bit lower and then you can always add more. As far as the oil change, that's it. And then once we finish this up, we'll go ahead and change out the thermostat. So we dumped all the oil in there. We're gonna actually hook up the hose to it again, run the motor, make sure that everything's running smoothly because we just change out the spark plugs, change out the oil. We wanna make sure that that motor is still peeing out the side. Um, and of course, make sure it's running very smoothly. So let's go ahead and start this baby up. a little bit. 
it and shut this off and I'll turn it back on. We'll change out the fuel filter and the thermostat.